Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about Shodan. We all know Google as a search engine for websites, but Shodan is also a search engine. But this search engine is really based on the Internet of Things devices. Uh, Internet of Things are usually small devices with an internet connection. Um, can also be security cams for instance. Most of the time, hopefully not in 2021, uh, these cameras are installed with a default password and nobody uh, bothers to change that password. Um, Shodan is a website that indexes all those kind of devices and also lists them with vulnerabilities and basically gives you information as a potential hacker or maybe even as a security professional to see what's being publicly available about that certain object. Without further ado, I will go to the website. Um, here, Wikipedia also states, Shodan collects data mostly from web servers on the various ports, SFTP servers, SSH servers, Telnet servers, etc. Also real-time streaming servers, so that's mostly security webcams. Let's go over to Shodan the search engine for Internet of Thing devices. The world's first search engine for internet connected devices. Just what we said. Well, I'll give you a quick rundown of what it can see to go to explore. Industrial control systems, databases, video games. Let's go to netcams. Netcams are usually security cameras. And I'm going to just give you one quick example what you can find out about those cameras on this website. So, it finds devices mostly in Hong Kong, United States, Germany, etc. The top services that are being used, HTTP is not encrypted internet traffic, so maybe if you sniff the connection you can even find out more about the internal network, who knows. Uh, without further ado, I will not make this video too long. What it finds here is a netcam um, in Italy. Let's click on the object. So this is the IP address handed out by the ISP of that camera. What kind of ports are being used at this on this camera? Port 22, SSH, this is web traffic and this is HTTPS traffic. It uses SSH 2.0 TCP, SSH, it even has here an SSH key. It has a certain fingerprint and it shows you the key algorithms that this SSH connection um, uses. So it's all being sniffed out. It's, it's kind of ridiculous actually. And here, CVE is a um, common vulnerability database, CVE. I will show you real quick. CVE beveiliging is security. Uh, this is not the one. No, just a second. I'm sorry. CVE vulnerabilities. Common vulnerability and exposures. So this is a database full of vulnerabilities. So let's say for instance you have a server or you do have this cam. You know what kind of software it runs. Uh, and clearly it's already been sniffed out so I will go here and see if I can find more information on this vulnerability on this website let's see if that's possible search this vulnerability submit and here it is an issue was discovered this is a protocol references date record created so it's a vulnerability that was discovered in 2018 I believe and here's more background information on top of it apparently this security camera this net cam still has this vulnerability so basically you already have a whole lot of information just by this web page um, to start digging around, to start snooping around. And I hope by the time that people watch this video, this guy already um, 
uh, has been notified or already made sure that his security is a little bit tighter. Let's see, let's go over to Italy, United States, Hong Kong. Let's see if we have more information here. In which city? Here they only find port 80 open, so a web server is running there. But it's a net navigator and a quick search on Google shows me the following. There's an internet service provider in Hong Kong. Okay, not, not a good example. Let's go back to the one from Italy. So basically you have all the ports that respond to this, what are behind this IP address. But 22, 80, 81, 82 and HTTP as traffic. You have the ISP, you have um, a vulnerability that was found and even here some, some keys, some SSH keys. SSH is a secure shell, so it's an encrypted connection, but apparently the keys have been sniffed to a certain degree and here let's just do a quick search what this is i think this is a protocol actually open source web server okay this is a web server my bad but you can see you can find everything online you can see this is a web server okay great and it runs on this version well maybe there are vulnerabilities in this web web server who knows so you already have a whole lot of information on the target. And Shodan can be used either by hackers or security professionals. They might search their IP here and maybe they find uh, that within their network they have certain devices that uh, are leaking information and can be a potential threat. So this is a very great, amazing website that I also wanted to show with you guys search engine for power and uh, uh, and uh, power plants um, refrigerators security cams buildings basically everything with an internet connection and many times uh, internet of things devices are not patched regularly and usually well i hope not in 2021 but uh, people just install them with a default password and username so it's very easy for people to get into that, especially if they don't have a firewall on the other side, making, uh, making sure that the rest of the world can't just log in remotely to their webcam. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions about this, I'm not an expert on it yet, but I do think I get the big picture of things. Um, maybe in the future we come back to this. Actually, one uh, disclaimer, if you are, um, if you, for instance, what I just show you about the webcam, if you would use that, uh, you would break the law. Uh, this is basically for, for uh, yeah, like I said, security professionals, but it can also, of course, be used by hackers. If you're hacking, then you, uh, yeah, you, you commit a, a crime and you can face uh, jail time, actually. This is just actually for um, research purposes and to show you uh, what it can find about your infrastructure, about your devices that are connected to the internet. And basically um, showing you as an administrator uh, that you should do more with your security. Hope I was very clear about that. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you guys in the next video.